right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, check it out, man. Not a whole lot of time. I ain't going to waste y'all time today, man. Money on the flow. Let's get straight to it. So, there has been a patch dropped. And as proof of that, we got right here, your boy, 3.8 gig patch uh, update on current gen NBA 2K22. Uh, we don't know what it is done. We have nothing from them as of yet, as normal. This this is normal protocol for 2K, man. Like, this is just what we do. They just, they drop patches, they do stuff, and then they don't tell us what it does. And then when we go and find out the adverse effects ourselves, like this right here, BOW! Check it out, man. Your boy, your boy Lux says, how in the world did I go from this right here? Now you see right here, where he got all the stars. He's He got three stars, level 40, to this. And this is what he's gone to. Just level 40. And nothing, and nothing happened except for the update. And this is something, one of those things where we just don't be, we, we don't understand like what 2K just let us have. Just look, we just gonna drop these patches, let y'all be at odds with the community and do all types of stuff like that, man. Instead of stepping in, giving us some clarification on what's going on. Now we already know what's gonna happen. We know that they're gonna come in and they're gonna say, hey, look, uh, this just cosmetic. It is this, it is that. And they're gonna do exactly what they did the last time when the badges got distorted after a patch. You know how it was when the badges got distorted after the patch and people were like, yo, I used to be able to get like maybe 30 badges on this guy. Now I can only get 28 badges on him or something like that. And they said, oh no, 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 that's just purely cosmetic. And then they went in and proved that it wasn't purely cosmetic. And then 2K came back and dropped the patch and tried to, and, and, you know, and fixed it. I'm just wondering if it's going to be one of those situations where 2K is going to try to come in and fix the issue before anybody knows. Because, like, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. That's, that's me as an IT specialist. What I do in IT is this. I try to go in and fix things before people know that there's an issue. But when you got, like, I only got maybe a couple of thousand eyes on the stuff that I work on. When you got... A couple of million eyes on this stuff like it was only a couple thousand people or maybe some people wouldn't even notice that they wouldn't have looked at it they wouldn't look for what the change was and they're not trying to see exactly what the issue is they might not have seen it i might have been able to clean that up and get it fixed before that but when you have a number of people and you're under the level of scrutiny and you charge the prices that you charge the 2k uh charges and all that good stuff man when you do the things that you do and you conduct businesses a certain way people are going to scrutinize your every move that's just it that's all to it and i feel like rightfully so bro this 2k you we would have paid the most for the game the players have cost uh, this this is the most that i've ever spent on players in 2k ever it's like takes like three hundred thousand to get a whole player done or what have you like all of this stuff the, the price just keeps going up just like fat joe say yesterday's price is not today's price let me say that again yesterday's price is not today's price that's how 2k got us i got us right now they got us over a barrel and so when stuff like this happens and somebody wants some answers, you can't just get mad and start crying and saying, oh, oh, uh, well, y'all just want to look for something to pick up. Bro, we paid full price for something that's half function. Like, what do y'all want us to do? Just be quiet about it and just be happy? Like, this dude, we already know that Luck is going to lock Luck. I don't know which one to go, but Luck is Luck. Luck is going to probably be a uh, legend first day on Friday. Like he probably just gonna grind it through and all of that. So we're gonna see if it's cosmetic only uh, pretty quickly. It's not gonna be one of those where they just gonna be able to be like, well, it's just cosmetic or whatever. They are gonna have to fix it, get a fix implemented and get this thing fixed as soon as possible. Because on Friday, we will know what it is. But like I said though, I ain't got no, I, I, I have no problem with people not letting 2K off the hook uh, for issues like this. Because in situations like this, bro, like, like, what am I supposed to do? I done grinded, I done worked hard, didn't bad mouth the game, all I did was play, and then now what happens? I don't even get, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hit Legend on Friday because of a glitch that's in the game that y'all, but, and nobody will have a problem with that if all glitches were created equal. But when it's a glitch that's something, when it's something that happens that, that 2K did, then it's like, oh, you know, we, we working on it, we gonna fit. But, let it be a VC glitch. 18 hours, it's gone. I guarantee it. 18 hours is gone. So I just want us to, like, I just wish that 2K would put the same zest toward fixing issues as they put toward fixing these VC glitches. 
because we've been winning wreck games all season and they never rectify. I waited to the end of the season to say so. They never rectified the issue that when people forfeit the game, we don't get a dub. But if you get kicked out of the game or if you quit out of the game, if you do any of that other stuff or you, if you forfeit the game, you get the loss. But we also, you get the win on your record, but you don't get the win going toward, you know, what we try to get, what, you know what I'm saying? You don't get the win going toward the racing suit, which is, to me, was just 2K artificially trying to keep people on the game. I could have cared less about the racing suit anyway, because it's messing up my swag. But y'all understand what I'm saying, man. So, like I said, bro, you can't, can't keep doing that 2K, man. We gotta, you gotta do better. We gotta get better results. We have to get better better interaction from you guys it's bad enough that y'all dropped the patch with no patch notes or none of that stuff when you downloaded it and all you doing you just you just you drop the patch you just drop the patch like we just got to accept that we have no choice in the matter and then something like that happens and it looks like my guy you know everybody has lost their man come on man i don't know but i guess we just supposed to suck it up and take it man um you know oh but also one other thing y'all didn't see no intro because this is a sponsored video. All right, everybody, I know you guys love fantasy football just as much as I do, and with the NFL season coming to a close this weekend, I can almost guarantee that a lot of you guys are in the same situation that I am. You're watching your team of studs sit on the sideline and just collect dust while somebody else that chose a group of oddballs is going on to the championship. Well, I'm here to tell you all is not lost because FanDuel has a ton of contests coming your way this weekend, including the $1.3 million NFL Sunday Mill contest where a five dollar entry fee can net you up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if you are first place winner now this contest is unique because you can enter up to 150 times first place as i said gets two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and the slate of games are at 1 p.m and 4 p.m so if you don't do anything else click on the link below in the bio in the description or wherever you are Click on it, sign up for FanDuel, and just get active. And if the entry fee is too rich for your blood, you don't want to be going against pros, or you just don't want to wait until Sunday, still, hit up the link in the bio, the description, or down low, sign up, and then once you do that, send me your username, and I will invite you to one of the private 50-50 contests that we're having for the NBA this week. In these contests, you'll be in a salary cap league with yours truly. You get to choose from anybody that's playing in the league tonight. And best of all, the top 50% of the players in the league go home with a prize. So once again, hit the link in the bio, the description, or download wherever you are. Download the app and let's get busy. I'll see you out there. Yeah, man, and like I said, man, y'all already know with the FanDuel joint, man, they blessing me, so I'm trying to bless y'all with it. If we hit our goal of people that are signed up and all of that good stuff, man, what I want to do is I want to give away either PlayStation or Xbox or $500 on cash apps, you know, $100 to five different people so people can win. It's going to be up to y'all what y'all want to say, you know, you want the prize to be or whatever, man, because I want to, you know, I want to just try to bless y'all. The only way, only thing you got to do to enter is this. Click on the link in the description. When you click on the link in the description, it's gonna take you to the fan dude. Sign up, it's gotta be a new account. It's gotta be a new account. So sign up, um, you know, you might not have signed up with your Facebook. You might not even play FanDuel or nothing like that. Or you may just make a new account and you gotta play one game. So you gotta put some, you know, just play one of the little fantasy games or whatever, man. So you got to, you got to, uh, you know, drop some cash on, on the thing and play a game, like that's it. And then we playing games all week. So if you let me know that you've signed up and that you're ready to play, I'm gonna send you a link to play with with the, the Lockdown University. You play with all us, man. So we're gonna be having games. And like I said, the way that we got our game set up, 50% of the people that play the game are gonna win. So if 20 people enter, 10 people are gonna win. And then you also gonna get a chance to play, you know what I'm saying? You also gonna get a chance to play with, uh, you know, get your PlayStation 5 or something like that. Win, it's a win, win, man. But up next though, Quavo Quavo tweeted out this with, uh, I'm Pluto tweeted out, uh, well, it was by Quavo, but it was it, Pluto tweeted out. Anyway, only streaming with certain people. Tired of letting y'all bums sell and make me end stream. New PSN too. Now I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna end stream, and I'm dang, I dang, I ain't gonna make me a new PSN. But I do understand the sentiment because when you out there playing this game and you feel like you're losing and and you can't. Be the best version of your streamer self because 
of somebody else's shortcomings, it is very difficult to continue to push on and do stuff, bro. It just is. It just is one of those things where it's like you try. I want to try. I want to play. I want to be out there, but, you know, I just can't do it, man. So, hey, I completely understand that sentiment, man. Like, might have to go play some of that random wreck or something like that, man. Um... You know, that's that's probably what I would do. I mean, I'm actually enjoying Random Wreck because it's the way that I can I can uh, rank up the fastest or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. Y'all let me know if y'all enjoying Random Wreck. Up next, we got Badgy Pluggy saying the first legend of NBA 2K22 will be born in a few days. What do you think the rewards are going to be? And, uh, you know, one person said it don't matter. Uh, you know, anyone else's legend uh, stars disappear. See, like I said, they putting those up there. Uh, something they probably had in a previous two. K <laughs> man, leave these boys alone, man. No, I think I think nobody will care who the first legend is to be honest, because they're gonna be fifty of them. Hey, you right about that. Uh, let me see. The leak said a blimp. So, so that's uh, you know, that's our best lead. Uh, I hope it's not recycled content and you know stuff like this. But like I said though. This, these are the things that we got to go through being in the 2K community, man. We don't even know what we're going to get. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know any of this stuff, man. What do y'all think the first Legend joint going to be, man? I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to find out. And last but not least, man, look, ch bro, check this out, bro. This has just been funny right here, bro. This, uh, this thing that people are putting out. Like, they got, so this this thing going around. It's a meme saying that, um, you know, it's like real men don't trade up. Paul splash down. It's saying that real men don't eat um real real men don't play video games. They 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 enjoy the outdoors. I don't understand why we can't do both, man. Well, I don't even know who started this garbage, bro. But anyway, it just got these dudes all here. And uh, you know, I ain't gonna play the audio, but it's a TikTok thing, and you know, they're just saying they out in the woods and what and, and whatnot or whatever. And hey, what boy says, hey, dudes get stuck on the first boss fight and start hunting ducks. You hate to see it. My boy, the puppet master, hard eight times, say, hey, he say, uh, hold on, let me mute that. Hey, he say, hey, man, get, 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 get the, he says, man, get the out of here. Real men go out there and shoot harmless birds. <laughs> Harmless birds, real men do whatever they want and don't worry about how another person feels. And that's how I feel about it, man. I just hate when people always be trying to do these. Do, do. Like, I get, I get it. I get why people do stuff and I get why they try to, you know, they be trying to start these conversation pieces and stuff like that. Bro, real men take care of their family. That's it. That's it. Real men take care of responsibility. I think that's where, I think that's where, and after that, anything that branches off or whatever like that, that's cool, man. But I, I just never thought it was cool to be like, yo, you ain't a real man if you don't do this. If you ain't getting your hands dirty. If you ain't doing this. Like when I was coming up, if you don't work on cars and if your job don't get, like my dad working a, he worked at a power plant and people used to be like, oh, you just push, boy. like, like when they went from, when they went from working on the actual machines to actually sitting behind desks and doing it, you know, doing it more mentally, people be like, oh, you just pushing buttons now, you ain't no real man no more. Like, that, you, that really, that really bothered people and stuff like that, man. So, I don't get it, man. Why can't we do both? We grew up hunting. I'm from the South. We grew up hunting. Like one dude said he from Macon, Georgia. All right then, so you know we grew up playing Kung Fu and we grew up hunting and fishing and doing all that stuff, man. It is what it is, man. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. I just thought that was funny. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Let me know if you're going to play fan duel, if you're trying to get in on one of the 50-50 contests or whatever to help me out. Let me know what I should give away. And I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. These little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Godspeed, Godspeed.